lamb loin chops on the Komodo Joe Classic 2. Let's see how we prepare them. Okay, before we do anything, we're going to get our Komodo Joe on. So, literally, chucking a fire lighter, light it up. Then we're going to close the lid, open all the air vents, and let it come up to temp. Want to get it to about 160, 170 for this cook. So yeah, get that done before you start your other bits. Okay, so as I mentioned, these are Barnsley chops, or more commonly known as loin chops. All it is, is basically a double chop so there's two pieces of the loin, it's a straight section of the lamb, really nice. Then they're really, really simple to prepare. All I do is score the fat. I think this helps it render down a little bit when, while you're cooking and also helps for your rub to penetrate into the meat a little bit more. These were sent to me by Meat and Cleaver. Check them out, Instagram. Facebook and they've got a website that's now live and you can go on there and have your meat delivered to you or you can do click and collect for an easy purchase in store so check them out meat and cleaver and now I'm gonna coat it with a little bit of fry light I really like this product it's one calorie a spray and all it is basically is rapeseed oil watered down with a little bit of flavouring. So this has got a nice chilli and garlic flavour to it. So yeah, use that as your binder and then a liberal coating of rub on both sides. This is a ranch rub I've been working on. It's really herby, parsley, dill, onion, garlic, nice savoury flavours. Goes really, really well with lamb. So flip them over, repeat the process again, a couple of sprays just to get the rub to stick and then give it a nice coating of your rub, whatever you want to use. That's more like it, so windy today. Typical English barbecue weather. Beautiful sunshine, but gale force winds and a little bit of rain. So, so my Komodo is up to temperature, so I'm just going to cut off the air and I'll be ready to grill. Okay, so I'm going to make an anchovy emulsion to go with the lamb. I've had this before and it goes really, really well with lamb. That fatty lamb. So to have something to cut through that nice fishy, lemony emulsion. All you literally do is a couple of tins of anchovies in the oil, a couple of squeezes of lemon, and then you just blend it till it goes to like a nice thick emulsion. So two tins of anchovies, half a squeeze of lemon to start, blitz, and then as you blitz in, you want to add a little bit of, of oil, good quality oil. I'm using rapeseed oil. And if you find it hard to combine, it's not looking like it's going to combine, little drizzle of water. And by the end of this, you'll see the sort of consistency you're looking for. I'm going to shut up now because in a minute, I'm going to turn this thing on and it makes such a noise. So as I said, while this is blitzing a little bit of oil just to help break the fish down and create a nice smooth emulsion. Okay this just needs a little bit of water now to help tie it all together. So you see as soon as I add that water you can see the colour change a little bit. That's the sort of consistency you want to get. It needs to be thick enough to kind of coat a spoon. Perfect consistency. Okay, ready for the fun part. Open up your Komodo, and as you can see, the divide and conquer system, I've set one side to the higher position and one side to the low position. 
This is so I can cook the lamb chops on the higher position. And then when they're nearly done, I'm gonna put them down to the lower position just to crisp up that fat a little bit. And whoever at Komodo J thought of the name Divide and Conquer system, genius. If it was like share and win, people wouldn't care. Ooh, see now these are about 10 minutes. So they're ready to flip. They're, they're getting there, they need a little bit longer. Lamb, I like to have my lamb about 60 degrees, which is kind of like medium. I don't like it too rare. But we get a nice bit of colour, and as you can see, because we've had it in that higher position, we're not burning our rub. It's still got a nice colour to it. You can still see the uh, green from all the, the herbs in the rub. So yeah, put the lid back down and give these a little bit longer. So yeah, as you can say, 46 degrees, nearly at that magic 60. That's it now. Time to move them down to the lower position, just to crisp out that fat, and then we'll be ready to serve. I'm really impressed with the Komodo and how well it retains the heat. This is one load of charcoal, put in it yesterday. Cooked loads of stuff on it yesterday and it's still got plenty left in the tank for today. So yeah, literally a couple of minutes, crisp out that fat, and we're ready to serve. Okay, I'm gonna dish up inside because the wind will blow my salad everywhere. So really simple plating, sprinkle of wild rocket, nice and peppery, handful of olives, green and black, don't matter what colour, just some, some nice little punctuations of salt in there. And then a couple of drizzles of your anchovy emulsion. Just splash it on, don't have to be pretty. Just get it on there, just like that. Bosh. And there you have it. Barnsley chops, chops cooked on the Komodo Joe Classic with rocket salad, anchovy emulsion, and some olives. Thanks for joining me, and if you have liked what you've seen today, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube.